Hey there, YouTube. Uh, this is our latest update on that massive tornado that hit the Paducah, Kentucky uh, nuclear processing plant. Um, and I want to point out, uh, we probably got, uh, you know, the latest uh, information out there so far, um, but it did do uh, a lot of devastation in there. Uh, sitting here watching Big Bang, it's one of the few shows that I'll watch. And uh, at least on lamestream TV. And these are the reruns. Anyway, um, I wanted to point out that, first of all, the debris inside, if any of that got loose, like with some of the uh, processing vents, stuff like that, those, those pieces are radioactive, even though they may not contain gas. But if you look in the middle of my screen right here where I'm pointing, uh, this is very interesting news. And uh, it says, nearly all news outlets covering the Paducah tornado claim the plant stopped in reaching uranium earlier this year. However, according to this report, on the 14th of November, 2013, Russia had shipped the last batch of low-enriched uranium. The cargo will be delivered to Baltimore, then to the U.S. and C's, Paducah, gaseous diffusion plant in Kentucky, where the uranium will be used to manufacture fuel for the U.S. nuclear power plants. Okay, uh, and it says Russia has shipped the last batch. So was that batch of uh, uranium sitting there just freshly shipped in and not really secured? I'd like to really get some information on that. Now, the rest of the article uh, also reports about, you know, what they clearly say is hazardous or radioactive. Uh, you know, there's all different categories of waste. Uh, so, you know, sure, there may not be hazardous, but is there radioactive? Uh, is there low-level mixed radioactive? You know, what, what classification of waste could have been released? And then the debris could be radioactive as well. Uh, so this stuff could have been blown miles away, and there could be a, uh, a radio radioactive hot spot there. Um, and thank you, well, uh, before it's news, for getting my video uh, out there. Um, shout out to them. But you guys should be paying very close to this. And, sorry, close my phone ring. And, um... And it may ring again. <laughs> uh, probably getting ready for our tacos for tonight. <laughs> and, uh, but you should uh, pay very close attention to the situation that's unfolding in Kentucky. This is not over, folks. Especially when you got a freshly shipped batch of low and rich uranium sitting right there at that plant. I'd like to know the, uh, the status of that material. Again, a massive tornado did hit that U.S. nuclear facility. Alert has been declared for emergency condition there. All right, so uh, we can go there to uh, what they quote is that NRC report. An alert was declared at the Paducah gaseous diffusion plant due to an apparent tornado strike severe weather event. This event is reportable under the 10 CFR 76120A4 where the emergency condition has been declared an alert. All right, so an alert has been declared at that facility. Of course, I'm glad they would. The place has been hit by a massive tornado. Now we need to know exactly the extent. And uh, these uh, biased terms are hazardous materials. There's all kinds of materials out there that are labeled otherwise that are still hazardous. So uh, just pay attention to this, folks. I'll try to get back at you if I discover more. Thank you very much. Take care.